Welcome to this Fabricville tutorial. Today I propose to you a sewing project that you can make with your kids, a tic-tac-toe game. We are going to make a drawstring pocket that will be the storage for the pieces as well as the game board to play on. To make this project you will need a sheet of paper, a ruler, scissors and pencils to make the pattern, fabric scraps, thread, some pins, scissors, ribbons, a piece of cord, buttons, little rocks, felt scraps for the pieces, paint and color pencils if you like to decorate the pieces. You also need a sewing machine and a steam iron. The pouch is composed of two identical rectangles. The easiest way is to fold a sheet of paper in half and to cut on the fold line. Then cut it again to obtain a 14 cm by 18 cm rectangle. Here is the pattern of our pocket. The 5 cm up will be for the drawstring casing and the 1 cm on the contour will be the seam allowance. Now fold the fabric to create a double layer and pin the paper pattern to the fabric. Cut around the rectangle. It's time to create your playboard. Here is the placement of our grid. Divide each side by 3 and draw two vertical and two horizontal lines. Now it's the perfect time to use your ribbon scraps. Cut four pieces and stitch them on the grid lines. You can stitch them either on the two edges or with a zigzag stitch. We are now going to sew the pouch. Lay the two rectangles right sides together. You are going to stitch on these three sides, beginning and ending from 5 cm down the opening. You can trace the line if your child wants to try the machine stitch with you. To sew the angle, it's best to put the needle down, lift the presser foot up, turn the fabric and then put the presser foot down and continue stitching. Now snip the bottom angles and the seam allowance this way, parallel to the pocket stop and in bias to the side. To keep the fabric from fraying, you can zigzag stitch the edges. Then fold the seam allowances of the future casing to the wrong side and press. Again, using your iron, fold and press the top edge down 1 cm then again 2 cm. Stitch close to the folded edge. Then Turn the pouch right side out. Cut the cord in two. Wrap one end of the cord with adhesive tape. Using a safety pin, pass the cord through a first casing. Then the second one. And not the cord ends. Now pass the second cord starting on the opposite side of the casing. And your pouch is ready. Now you need to prepare the pieces. You need 10 game pieces, 5 of each color or shape. Your children will be able to paint on little rocks, draw on wood pieces, or you can make felt pieces. Store the pieces in the pouch and your tic-tac-toe game is ready. 
Have fun and thanks for watching.